and Nikki Haley dropped out of the race. This is what's going on right now. I'm trying to complete my first flooring project today. But let's talk about Nikki Haley dropping out of the race. So the question of the hour is, how long will it take before she endorses Trump? You know it's coming. So I will be voting for Trump. So after all the harsh Christian Trump this and Trump that, and we can't have a country, we gotta go forward, and, and we don't want old man, how long before she says, well, you know, yeah, the time, it's not about me, it's about the country, and uh, you know, Trump is our nominee, and you know, I'm gonna stand behind our nominee because the Democrats, this and that, and, and they're the, two, the far left and the socialism, and I can't stand for that, you know? I tried to uh, you know, lead a country in a different direction. Anyway, we bless Trump, everybody, Trump, Trump's a good guy. Yes, the Democrats have gone too far to the left, the left have gone too far, Trump is, uh, he's the guy. Didn't you say not too long ago Trump was a threat to the country or something or another and he's too old? Why are you now endorsing him? Right. As a voter, I put my priorities on a president who's going to have the backs of our allies and hold our enemies to account, who would secure the border, no more excuses, a president who would support capitalism and freedom, a president who understands we need less debt, not more debt. Trump has not been perfect on these policies. I have made that clear many, many times. But Biden has been a catastrophe. So I will be voting for Trump. Please take note of the little game that she plays talking about he's not perfect on these policies. No one is perfect on anything. Perfection is not a realistic standard to hold anyone to. So that's a non-statement. She basically said the sky is blue. Why would she use this non-statement? She didn't say it for no reason. There's got to be a reason behind it. She says a bunch of policies which she honestly believes that Trump is not good at, but she wants to pander to the base. So she implies that he's good at these things. And then she provides herself cover by saying he's not perfect on these things. So if we challenge her on it, she says, I, I never said he was perfect on these things. I was very clear he's not perfect on these things. And I said, I stand behind my words. This is the type of, you know, talking out of both sides of your mouth that these politicians like Trump and Nikki Haley and Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi and many others play, and it's disgusting.